Welcome. I'm going to show you how to edit the laptop mockup in Photopea. Just go to photopea.com in any web browser and then double click on this open from computer button and then find the mockup. And it's just going to take a couple seconds to load. And once it does, we're going to be working in this Layers panel. So if you don't see the Layers panel, just go to Window, and then click on Layers to bring it up. And first you want to uh, click on this arrow in the Laptop Layer Group to expand it. And then just double click the thumbnail icon in the Design Dash Screen Layer. And that's going to open up our Smart Objects. And then we just want to go to File, Open and then find the design and then just go to select all then edit copy and click back on the smart object tab and go to edit paste and if it's not the size you want right off the bat, you can just go to Edit, Free Transform. And we'll just hold down the Shift key to keep the design proportional and click and drag any of the four corners. You can kind of click and move it into place if you need to. And then when you're done, just go to File, Save Smart Object to save all that. And then once it says Smart Object Updated, you can click the X to close the Smart Object. And then close the original graphics. And your design is on the laptop just like that. If you want to adjust the shadows, you can do that by clicking the arrow in the Laptop Shadows layer. And then just click on either of the shadows. Click the down arrow next to Opacity and drag the slider to the right to make the shadow darker or the left to make it more subtle. You can do something similar with the mouse or you can actually turn the mouse on and off just by clicking on this eye icon or the little box next to the mouse layer. Depending on which mockup you purchased, you may have different backgrounds. So to toggle through them, just click the arrow next to the backgrounds layer group and then just click the eye icon or the little box to turn the layers on and off. You can even copy and paste your own background right into this mockup since the background is on a separate layer. If you're going to use this online as a thumbnail, you'll want to save a version as a JPEG. So to do that, just go to File, Export as JPEG. And if you want to save a layered PSD, you can come back here a second time and just go to File, Save as PSD. Please message me at melissabmockups.com if you have any questions. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you get updates to future videos. And as always, this mockup and other mockups are available at melissabmockups.com. Thank you.